Well, that just sucks. So the DBA career, let's take a trip down memory lane. Who remembers these numbers? We used to get these errors when we used to have tables exceeding that many extents. If you got 121 extents in a 2K block size, you couldn't have no more. If you had 505 in an 8K block size and 249, it used to be the case in Oracle. That was the maximum number of extents you could have in a table. That was it. If you exceeded that, you had to rebuild the table from scratch. No one really cares about extents anymore. Not much. You know, if we get billions of extents, we probably might have some dramas. But in 7.3, which was 20 years ago, we fixed it. We had unlimited extents. It was sort of semi-automatic because we still use the database dictionary to manage it. So you had to have some care. But then in 8.1, they become locally managed. They're fully automatic, bitmap extents. And from that point onwards, we've pretty much lost interest in extents. We still monitor them, most of us DBAs from time to time, but we certainly don't have that paranoia that we used to have back in Oracle 7 because we knew that if we ever hit that limit, we were in trouble. We had this degree of automation, but we know how extents work. Automation for my is we sort of know the implementation. It's being performed by the database, no longer by us, but we sort of define the rules. We define the extent sizes with LMTs, etc. That's my sort of loose definition of using the database definition of automation. But let's have another trip down memory lane. Who remembers these things? Do you remember setting these parameters in the database? You used to, you used to have to set the rollback segments parameter. You had to make sure the first one was in the system table space. All the others would be in a non-system table space. You'd set transactions per rollback segment to nominate the spread and, and clean up entries. There were all sorts of things you had to do to look after rollback segments. I think almost no one cares at all anymore about rollback segments. They almost don't even know they exist because we had automatic undo. Came along in Oracle 9, you set the undo table space. Life's good. It's actually more than automation though. It's different to extents because I would challenge anyone on the call to know the result of this query before they actually ran it. No one knows how many undo segments they actually have currently in their undo table space because the growth and reduction of them is actually now controlled by the database. We actually allocate them as required and we remove them as well. It's actually been decided by the database now and this is probably closer to what I call autonomy. We don't really know the rules of the implementation of the undo table space anymore. The database has decided on what the algorithm should be we don't even set the rules. The decisions are made by software. And that obviously leads us on to this. This is the motivation for all the questions about what about the future career? What's the autonomous database going to do to my job? Am I going to be out of a job? As with all good office hour sessions, we have to have a pie chart. This pie chart I simply stole from, I think, Computer World, which says that 72% of technical tasks in an IT department, and DBA is a part of that, are maintenance. And only 28% are innovation. So the theory behind autonomous database, like autonomous undo, is we remove the dull stuff and let you focus on the cool stuff. And you've no doubt seen that message already from various slides. Think back to automatic undo. That's probably the first autonomous thing we've done in the Oracle database back in Oracle 9. Who lost their job? I, can't, I don't know of anyone that ever got told, you know, now that undo management is so much easier and you don't have to worry about it, it's autonomous, you don't have a job anymore. All that happened was they said, great, you were looking after 10 databases, you can have 20 now because you can manage them more efficiently. I think the same is gonna happen with the autonomous database stuff in terms of the DBA career. Less mundane stuff to work on isn't gonna give you less work, it's gonna give you more work. They're simply gonna say, fine, you can have more databases to work with. You can have more technologies to look after. Yes, you, look, you used to look after the database, guess what, you've got the app server now as well. Oh, you've got the NoSQL database as well to look after. Oh, you've got a Hadoop cluster. Yep, you better look after that as well. You're going to have to just be given more and more stuff to do, and it's going to broaden your horizons. I think that's a good thing, and also it'll actually keep your job more interesting. But I want to be real here because people say that's perhaps too optimistic a message. And don't get me wrong. The thing that will make your DBA career flourish is if your job is about the business success. What, is, what defines business success? It's people who do good data modeling for the, for the system, build, design great systems, people who can look after end to end. Your business doesn't care if one component brings the whole system, the application down. They simply say, the application is down. So if you're an IT professional that can look after multiple parts of the stack, 
you're obviously inherently more valuable to the business. Data security, let's face it, if you get hacked nowadays, you're out of business. That's the, probably the most important thing for DBA now, even today. Application tuning, that's never gonna go away. For every good piece of SQL out there, there's someone out there who can write a worse version. So application tuning is always gonna be present. It's actually always been business success that defines the DBA career. It's just that sometimes we've needed multiple people to add up to the total being definition of business success. One person might have been looking after just a tiny component of it. I will say this, if you are one of those DBAs that actually prides themselves on only looking after the maintenance stuff, and I'm not being critical of you here, some people, that's what they like to do. They like to just get up in the morning and do the same tasks each day and they do it really well, really accurately, that's what they want to do then I think you could be in trouble because the reality is that job is being automated away. If you are focused just on the, on the mundane, on those very basic maintenance tasks, I think, yeah, you might be in trouble and you probably need to look at expanding your skill set. Hey, 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 hey.